What's the deal? It's your boy, McLean at Dwayne McLean TV, and shouts out to everybody supporting the channel. Rocking with the boy. Let's continue like, comment, and subscribing, man. All right, so today's video is going to be about a particular situation I seen on the Joe Budden podcast, i.e., before we start this, none of this stuff is important, man. None of this stuff is important. Loving your family, loving your kids, focus on yourself, getting your goals right. All that stuff is important. All this stuff we talk about with celebrities is not important. This is just entertainment only to watch and consume in your leisure. Don't make this, don't be doing this in the time. And as soon as you get some free time, this needs to be the last thing you do, okay? Watching or speaking on thing about these entertainers, okay? Because they are not important. All right, so today's video is going to be about Joe Budden had a situation on this podcast where he had a friend of his where his name Ish, or I don't know his name, and he's a light-skinned dude. Both of these, first thing first, both of these guys are light-skinned. So let's start with there, okay? Disclaimer, if you want to understand what it means by being light-skinned, um, I'm all for the the colorism stuff because that stuff is real people of different tones do act a certain way i don't care what nobody say you know, and I, I apply this to everybody every race every race i apply to everybody but uh light-skinned guys do have a tendency of having more emotional situations like dealing with a light-skinned dude it don't stuff just don't brush off when you do like regular men stuff brushes off like say i got your drill and i break your drill right like your your drill for your house i break it he ain't going to be upset. You know what I'm saying? He be like, all right, cool, man. It's all right. It's whatever. Last can do is, oh, man, you broke my drill, man. That's my brother's drill. He got hit by a bus, man. That's his last time he gave me my drill. Man, you broke my drill. I'm like, bro, look, I'm sorry about breaking your drill. He's like, nah, man. It's all good, bro. It's all good. Then next week, oh, man, I heard you broke buddy drill, man, for his bro. I'm like, I ain't tell you about that, though. So he going around telling people about me breaking his drill, and I ain't paying. I told him I'm going to pay him back when I get paid. Nah, he taking it serious. Do you go back to paying back? Nah, bro, it's all good, man. I ain't even tripping, man. I ain't upset about that, man. You good? You know, you like, why does it got to be all this extra shit? That's what it's like dealing with light-skinned niggas. It be a bunch of extra shit every time. Now, not all light-skinned niggas are like this. This, The niggas who look like James Earl Jones, those light-skinned niggas that look like James Earl Jones from uh, The Lion King, those light-skinned niggas just be cool. Terrence Howard light-skinned niggas is cool. It's them, it's them Sean Paul light-skinned niggas. Them um, Amity light-skinned niggas. You know, it be um, the Will Smith light-skinned niggas aggravating. Uh, who else? The Steph Curry light-skinned niggas aggravating. Um, the Clay Thompson light skin nigga cool, you know what I'm saying? They cool, but then they be like the 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 dude from Cousin Skeeter. Um, those light skin niggas they be cool too, but then some of them be hitting, they be emotional as hell too. And dark skin niggas emotional too. Don't get it twisted. Dark skin niggas emotional too, but I'm saying dealing with light skin niggas shit. Then don't get it. Don't let a girl get involved. Light skin niggas take their relationships way too goddamn serious. But they be ready to dial their girl like. Light skin. Every time is I got into a light skin nigga, so say it is a girl, right? And she is cool with a light skin nigga. I holler at her. He upset that I'm talking to it. Like, bro, why are you even upset for? Like, I don't know. Light skin niggas is different. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I drifted off talking about that. Y'all had to get an understanding for the idea and the mindset we're dealing with before we get to this topic. So, sorry for drifting off. I probably did it a little too long. I know your comments are coming. It's cool. So, Ish and Joe Budden are both light-skinned, highly emotional individuals. Joe Budden was on the couch at his crib smoking hookah with old buddy's ex-girlfriend. So, old buddy's, Joe Budden's friend, ex-girlfriend, broke up with him, and a few months later, she's at Joe Budden's house smoking hookah. And Joe Budden says, I was not, he said, Joe Budden feels he wasn't in the wrong. All right, we're going to explain who's in the wrong here. Joe Budden feels he's not in the wrong. And Buddy says he don't care that he was talking to his girl. He's more upset at the fact that Joe Budden said he'll never do it, and he did it. So that's the main thing. He's like, oh, you said you would never do this to me, but you did it. I'm not the fact mad at you doing it or talking to my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend. I'm more mad at the fact that you talked to my ex-girlfriend when you said you wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I see both of them, but they're both capping. I see them from both perspectives. From Joe Budden's perspective, which nobody, he, Joe Budden's wrong. That's my, my initial answer. He's wrong. You don't be talking to dudes as girlfriends. You just don't do it. Unless Buddy gives you, but okay, but you still, even if you get okay, you shouldn't be doing it anyway. 
That means when he was together with her, you was thinking about smashing her the whole time. As soon as y'all broke up, you were, it's backstabbing this shady shit. You don't do that. I done the shit in the past, talking to niggas ex girlfriends and shit. It was always messy. I haven't done that shit since I was like 20, 22 is when I started hanging out with people. I became trying to become a family. I still have my main niggas but far as like random people. Because I only do this to niggas who I really ain't tight with. I'm like, well, you ain't my nigga for real. I'm going to holler at your bitch. Like, nigga, you ain't my nigga for real. I wasn't raised up. Nigga, I have no memories, no pictures with you, nigga. So, yo, so what we talk at work. Your girl is up for grabs. So, nigga, that's how I used to be. But now if it's one of my main niggas, no. But I think Joe Budden and this nigga was like main friends. But anyways, don't be talking to niggas' exes. Don't do that. Don't be talking to nobody ex. Don't mention no speak to nobody ex. Don't 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 talk to nobody's ex. That's they that's that's like a hidden cold, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't even if as soon as a dude me introduced to his girlfriend, I do not make friends with her. I don't make friends, I don't build a relationship with her. You won't see me on the side talking to my nigga's girl. That's messy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I dealt with a female and she was always guy friend, guy friend, guy friend. She didn't understand this when I explained it to her. Like, hey, don't be talking to my niggas. Because my niggas came over. She want to sit and have sidebar conversation with niggas. She was really misunderstood and very problematic. Of course, not with this female anymore. But she tried to explain while it was okay. I'm like, no, you don't talk to people's humph. And as homies, you don't talk to niggas girls. As soon as any time my homeboy girl get try to get close to me, you can't have my phone number. You can't, none of that. And then, I'm like this with girls who I date. So... Say I'm dating a female, right? I don't get close to her friends. I don't talk to her friends. I ain't about to speak to your friends. So if a girl, so say I'm talking to a girl and her homegirls come over. I won't look at their ass. I won't speak to them. I won't give them a hug. None of that. No sidebar conversation. My girl ain't around. I ain't going to be around them. You know what I'm saying? Then if my girl was to be over right and her friends come over, I leave the room. I'll go outside. I'll leave. I leave. I don't want to hear be around y'all girls and mingle with y'all conversations and no nah, i don't want to do none of that i'm about to go you know what i'm saying so i do that for a reason so it will kill any of those rumors oh he trying to holler at my girl or he, he trying to holler at my my, my my friends or he's a pervert he's he looking at us nope i'm out in the room you know what i'm saying but now like i said if you not my main nigga like i don't know you nigga like it's because we talk every day at work don't mean i won't knock your girl down Cause guess what? I know for a fact you you went to the manager's office and talked shit. So it's it's all up for grabs. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? What else we got? To talk? Oh yeah. Now far as who's right, and who's wrong? Joe Bun is wrong. It's just wrong for not keeping it real. He know he still felt the way about Joe Bun talking to his ex. Why can't niggas tell the truth about their feelings? When I watched that video, I'm like, nigga, you know you upset about him talking to your girl. Plus, breaking his word. It's both of them because you won't be that emotionally invested. For one, we're dealing with light-skinned niggas. So he's emotionally invested. Now, he's he was lying on the show. If you go back and watch it, Joe Budden's friend was basically saying, I'm not mad at you talking about to my girl. Nigga, you are. Oh, you can't tell me how I feel, nigga. I can see as a man. Your action's showing different. You, feel, you felt the way that he hollered at your girl as you should. Especially if it's a girl who I know I was sleeping with every day. We dang near had pregnancy scares. And you can go be chilling with her. Like, come on, man. I know how this girl get down. So, no, man. Then that's why you don't tell your sex stories to your homeboys. Don't be like, oh, she sucked my dick good this way. Oh, she. No. Don't tell that shit to your niggas. Because now your niggas going to be like. D you never know out of your niggas who's a dirty nigga. Your main nigga could be a dirty nigga right now. And you don't even know it. And because... A real good dirty nigga knows how to hide all his dirty really well. He meaning he'll probably be bank he probably be sleeping with your girl behind your back all the time, especially if you want them niggas who breaking everything I'm telling you, leaving your homeboy with your girl, being too trustworthy, having your homie run errands and stuff, y'all going to the party together, going out to clubs together. Nah, don't do none of that. People don't understand relationships are lonely. All that bringing friends shit in. Need to rarely happen twice a year in a marriage or a serious relationship twice a year. All that bring your friends over shit. No. Friends cause problems in relationships. Y'all two need to be isolated. Family, and that's it. Friends to a minimum once or twice a year. That's my advice. But anyways, 
he still felt the way about that girl. He know he loved that girl. And I'll be upset if a nigga talked to a girl I used to date. And even though I broke up with her, I'm mad at the fact you talking to the girl. Yeah, I still care about her, like her and all that shit. Yeah, we broke up. I'm a man, I got feelings. Y'all niggas be having feelings for these bitches. Just, just be, be real. Two, I'm mad you broke your word as well because you broke your word saying you'll never do that and you did that. So now you snake me. I don't know why you still hanging with Joe Budden anyway. Y'all niggas is weird. It's the thing. Y'all get snaked by niggas and still hang with these people. Like, I'm talking about, like, backstab dirty and be like, oh, this is my friend. We squashed it. Ain't no friendship in the world, man. Yeah, we squashed it, but guess what? We can only be checkup friends, meaning and once a year, I'm going to call and say, hey, man, you alive? All right, bro, click. Yeah, we squashed it, but we all that hanging out shit, why am I going to hang out with you for you to snake me again? Like, you might sneak. You might try to do some dumb shit. Any other time in the future, then watch your friends. I guarantee you, if he brought a girl around, Joe would be like, hey, let's go get a drink, trying to get your girl away from me. Peep that, man. I used to do that to niggas, man. I'll I find a way to get your girl away. Get your girl right away from me. Hey, man, hey, um, can you go outside and see what's, what's, what's going outside? There's a dog outside there in the yard. He'd be like, huh? He'd get up, leave us in the room. I'm like, this nigga's stupid. He's dumb as hell. Crazy. I'm like, hey, um, I'm making, like, I find out what he don't like. And find out what she like. And then I'll say I like what she likes. So say she like mixed drinks and he don't drink. Hey, I got some mixed drinks in the kitchen, man. You want to try one? He don't get up with her. She just get up. People crazy, man. Y'all niggas better stop. Niggas is dirty, niggas. Niggas is dirty. Niggas is dirty, niggas, man. So Joe Budden, the dirty dude. I don't know why y'all still hang out with dirty people. As y'all find out they dirty. After you find, somebody find out, after you find somebody dirty and you still decide to hang with them. All I'm going to do is look at you like, well, you stupid. You know they dirty and you gonna hang out with them still, but anyways. But that's all I gotta say about this topic, man. Let me know what else y'all gotta say, man. Who was right, who was wrong? Joe Budden was wrong. The light skinned dude was wrong for not keeping it real in his feelings. You know you still love that bitch, nigga. You was too mad. Y'all got um an explanation on how light skinned niggas break down. And uh y'all got a lot of information in this video, man. Like I said, only in your leisure. Fuck these celebrities and their lives. It's nothing important, but this is not important. This is entertainment only. These people have no value. Joe Budden ain't shit. His show went fuck them millions of views. He's a regular people. Everybody a regular person. Get all that famous shit, all that dick riding shit everybody be doing out their head. For any famous person. Whenever you see them, you get that autograph out their ass, but don't be doing them dick riding. Because I'm telling you, so there's a few celebrities that got to run that autograph when I see them. You got to run that. Y'all don't give a fuck. You've been famous for all. If Michael Jackson was alive, he got to run that autograph. You're lucky he did. He got, Michael Jackson had to run that. Hey, Mike, hey, hey. Bitch, I don't want no pictures or none of that. But I got to get a picture too, Mike. And and the autograph. That's how I'm going to run down a celebrity. I ain't about to be doing no dick riding. Now, Stone Cold, I'm going to be respectful because I don't want Stone Cold talking no shit. I'm like, hey, man, run that autograph. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And we're going to have to drink a beer. He's he going to have to drink a beer with me too. All that. But, um... What else, man? But anyways, man, in your leisure, okay? It's the Boy Don't Claim, Don't Claim TV, man. Y'all be blessed, y'all be safe. I'm out.